You guys, my life is low-key officially over. I had to come out here and get some air. I had to find some like water so I could clear my head because I don't know what the hell just happened. I cannot think straight right now. I cannot think straight. Oh my god, he is not answering my text messages. I called him like mad times already. I left him a voicemail, and I usually never ever leave this kind of voicemail. Oh my gosh, I need to go sit somewhere by a tree or something. Y'all, I'm not in this really nice park because I needed to clear my head. I'm about to rest my life and cross this road just like the chicken did look y'all look at how busy look at how busy this street is and i'm about to cross it right now Ooh. i'm about to cross it right now oh my god i have to run i have to run i have to run now <sighs> okay i made it i made it I don't know how this all came to be. So I guess this is low key story time. Oh my God, he just texted me back. Okay, okay guys, all right, so this is what happened. So I text Eugene, oh my God, guys. He said, you're single, you are single, just like that, that was it. Oh my gosh. And he was not responding to me at all. He literally just responded. My heart is still racing because I can't believe that just happened. It wasn't even supposed to happen like that. What I did was I just basically like text him and I was like, huh, well, mm, you guys are about to see the text messages. Okay, so this is our conversation, right? And it starts where it says, babe, I have a confession. I cannot let this man slip through my fingers. I was like, no, baby, come back. I can't, <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, my heart was literally racing, not even gonna lie. <laughs> Because sending him read your text messages through text is actually going to get his attention. 
Yes, darling, you so smart girl. conversation one more time just to understand what is really going on like did this really just happen so yeah you guys have seen the text messages now y'all know why I'm freaking out because it was all supposed to be like a joke so I I guess I unintentionally pranked Eugene like I didn't even mean to prank him because I didn't think it was gonna happen like this you know usually he's like oh well, you know, whatever like what is it like come out and say whatever you guys say darling cut to the chase blah 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 but this time he cut to the chase like he wasted no time literally no time at all so I'm gonna go and I'm going to uh I guess read his message Oh my gosh, he's going to be so mad. No, guys, he was really, really pissed because, like, you guys read the text message and I was just, you know, going along with it just to, like, see what would happen. I did not lie. I did not create a whole nother story because that's literally what it is. Like, I went to Springfield. It happened in Springfield. As in, I lost my sneakers that Eugene had bought me in Springfield. And it stayed there in Springfield. And it was a mistake because obviously I didn't mean to leave my sneakers in a whole different city. Like, what? No. So, like, <laughs> I guess I am kind of evil because I definitely made it sound like it was something else. But it really wasn't that. But I'm still, like, freaking out. I'm really, like... I can't believe he broke up with me in like five seconds. Like what? I kind of admire that though, because you gotta have your peace of mind. Like you can't let anyone really destroy that for you. If that's what you need to do, if you need to part yourself from someone who loves you and you love them, but they like disrespected you, you gotta leave them. Like I'm all for that. So shout out to Eugene for doing that, but I really do hate you. I hate you. I hope you're watching this right now. I, I hate you with all the love in my body. I hate you. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I was so ready to cry. I was panicking because I was texting him while I was at work and I started panicking, literally panicking. I could not focus on my work. My chest was pounding like three hours, three hours per mile. What? What, darling? You see, like, I can't even function. I cannot function because I was so shook that Eugene just went off on me like that. Okay, guys, I'll be back. I'm going to go read what he said. I'll be back. Hold on. So half of what he said, I didn't even understand, but I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt because he was at work. So DNA fam, we're going to let it slide.
so he's not upset anymore thank god oh my gosh because my heart was about to jump out of my chest i'd have to run to wherever he is like i'd have to run there asap granted i don't know where he is anyways because he's not at work just anyways that's besides the point point is this could not break up with me it was uh in an unintentional prank there we go unintentional prank and i want to say that i succeeded because um or maybe he succeeded i don't know if he like knew that i was playing around or if he was like dead serious but i think he was dead serious because he called me first and then i didn't pick up i told him i was at work so he had to text me and then he was like, all right, well, cool, smooth, you're single now. It's basically as simple as, as that. And, like, he just, I hit him up on almost all forms of social media. I just didn't email him. That's, like, the only thing I didn't do. But I, I contacted him in any possible way that I possibly could. And I waited for his response, and I got nothing. Like, I was dead to him. I was dead to him for, like, a good 20, 30 minutes. Actually, more than 30 minutes. I want to say about, like, close to an hour. Can you imagine? Like, my heart's literally racing. I'm about to die. My blood pressure is going up. I'm thinking about everything that we've been through all within an hour. And to think it could have all just been thrown down the trash just like that. Like, what? I don't know how you YouTuber couples do it where y'all pricking each other, breaking each other's heart every five days, every two days, every three hours, and then, you know, plop back. Like, that's emotionally draining. It's emotionally draining. I cannot repeatedly do that over and over and over and over again. We, we cannot. But anyways, guys, I'm about to go back to work. I had to come by the water, clear out my head, make sure that I wasn't going to go insane, try to talk to him and clear things up for him so that like he didn't go out there and do something stupid because ladies y'all know how men are when they're upset they go out and they do some crazy stuff and you're like why like how did that help you it didn't better your life yada da. but guys this is the end what did y'all think like did y'all think it would have gotten there if you were to do that to your significant other or anybody else uh, y'all probably think this is a video, but this is actually a voiceover. I was gonna play it off, but I was like, nah, chill, Darlene. Like, we ain't gonna fool the DNA family because they ain't stupid. So, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share this, and make sure to hit the bell if you're new. Until next time, guys, we love you. Mwah.